Hi, I'm Mark from the Endurance Store. We're a specialist running and triathlon shop based in Apley Bridge, which is just outside Wigan in Lancashire. Uh, and uh, this little video today is to introduce our on-running competition, where you can win a free pair of uh, men's and ladies on-runners. Um, so these are the two on-running shoes which we stock in the, uh, in the shop. This is the Cloud Surfer and this is the Cloud Flyer. So these are sold uh, as, uh, technically as a neutral shoe and for someone who pronates if their foot rolls in a little bit. Uh, but it isn't quite as simple as that, they are quite different shoes. So they're called Cloud Shoes generally uh, because of these these holes that they have on the bottom here, these little clouds, and that's what they use as the, as the cushioning system. And you can see the clouds are on the bottom of the, uh, bottom of the cloud surfer. Um, so this is a, a lightweight training shoe. Uh, the shoe's relatively flexible. Um, this shoe is more for a neutral runner. If you tend to pronate, uh, then this probably isn't the best option for you. Better with the, uh, with the cloud flyer. Uh, it's a relatively flexible shoe, um, so it gives you quite a natural feel as well. And then here we've got the Cloud Flyer. Now the Cloud Flyer is slightly different. Uh, this is for the people who tend to pronate a little bit more. It doesn't have support, so it doesn't have support on the inside here. It's uh, what you call a guidance shoe. So a guidance shoe tends to uh, try and correct the movement of your foot, whereas a support shoe, um, as your foot collapses in, it has support to, to catch it, if you like. So the way this offers uh, a, a guidance is, you can see the clouds on the bottom here, you can see the clouds from the, from the side view there. Most people tend to land on the outside of the heel, so the clouds on the outside of the heel collapse a lot easier than the clouds on the inside of the heel. So basically, if you land on the outside of the heel, the cloud will collapse in quite a lot, and that stops the shoe getting flipped in. So as it collapses here, it keeps the foot on the outside, and you roll forwards onto the forefoot and then over onto your big toe. So it's a, a guidance system built in. This is actually considerably more flexible. You can see how flexible that is. That's the Cloud Flyer compared to the Cloud Surfer. It's flexible, but not quite as much. So that even though this is a pitched as the neutral and that's the guidance shoe, they're very, very different shoes with a different feel. So if you like that natural feel and uh, with a very flexible shoe, um, then the Cloud Flyer really uh, fits the bill. And it, 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 it's really designed as a mileage shoe, um, but um, it will feel quite racy, so you could use it really for 10Ks, half marathons as well. And they come in, they're very, very light, they're only around 240, 250 grams, which for a training shoe uh, is extremely light. So we've got, you can choose whether you want a pair of those or whether you want a pair of those. Uh, and the competition works like this. You, uh, you like this post on Facebook, then you share the post on Facebook and then you comment below and you tag in, if you're male, you tag in a female person who would like a free pair of shoes or if you're female, you tag in a male person who'd like a free pair of shoes. And we're going to pick the winner uh, this coming Friday. Um, and, um, and yeah, if you're a lucky winner, then you and the person that you've tagged in gets a choice of either some cloud surfers or some cloud flyers. It's as easy as that. Tag someone in, get liking, and get sharing.